We're going to take a look at how to use a virtual environment for Python in Ubuntu. First, let's install virtual environment sudo apt-get install python virtual env i already have it installed but now you can do it too so we have to create the virtual environment now and we can do that by calling virtual environments or virtual env and giving it a directory name i like to use venv so what that's going to do is create a bunch of new executables and set up your virtual environment and in order to use the virtual environment, we have to activate it. But really quick, let's take a look at what Python packages I have installed on the host. We can use pip freeze. I like to use pip to install Python packages. And you'll see that I have a lot of packages installed here. So now let's in activate the virtual environment. We do that by calling source venv bin activate. Of course, venv would be whatever you called the directory for your virtual environment and you'll see to the left of the command line now there's a little venv there to let us know that our virtual environment is activated and from here if we run pip freeze one more time you'll notice that we don't have as many things installed we are within this python virtual environment and so packages that we install and programs that we run from within this in virtual environment are contained and using uh, only the packages that are installed there. So for instance, let's say we want to install flask pip install flask Not pop pip It's gonna go ahead and install pa flask just as it would on the host environment if we do pip freeze again Now we have flask and all of its dependencies here so let's deactivate the virtual environment. How do we do that? We just type deactivate. And now it's been deactivated. If I type pip freeze again, you'll see that Flask is not installed on the host machine. Now this is really handy for keeping uh, separate development environments. So that's how to set up a virtual environment for Python on Ubuntu. And that's it. Thanks for watching.